more and more the consensus has developed that it's human activities, it's burning of fossil fuels, cutting down of forests that put more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere that's causing the warming. I work in the Arctic, and the Arctic is the part of the Earth that's warming the most. We're working on the six largest rivers flowing into the Arctic Ocean, trying to figure out how changes in those rivers can feed back to influence global climate. And essentially what we're doing was going and collecting water samples to help us understand whether things are changing. We spend a lot of time talking with the elders in these communities and asking them about their observations of change that might be related to climate change. And these are people that are 80 years old, grew up living entirely off the land almost. We were in the Lena River, where Anya's from, and we were on a ship for two weeks, all the way down the Lena River to just about to the Arctic Ocean. I was traveling with my dad a lot. Uh, since my childhood and seeing how he does his work. Anya was along. She had just turned 13 and she is the daughter, the captain of the boat that we use for sampling on Elena. She'd be right there every time we were sampling and became a part of the crew. It was big help with the work that we were doing. I explained how more samples would help us figure out how things varied seasonally. They asked me to make water samples during the winter mm -hmm. and he said that you can make something really good for for world. I said, oh, of course, it will be interesting to see what he can do. And I gave her maybe 20 bottles, and then we disappeared for five or six months. It turned out that every two weeks, she had been out on her father's boat collecting samples, or during the winter, drilling holes through the ice to collect these water samples. I didn't understand that uh, Elena River is uh, if you can sample it, you can know something about global changes that it gives you so much. Well, it just started with this one girl. It, it grew to include her classmates and teachers. And finally, then we were trying to replicate that at various other sites around the Arctic. Max and other scientists came to our school. Uh, and uh, they were very amazed, children interested in everything. I don't know if it's their formal education that gives them an appreciation of the natural world, but the way they live does. So, you know, they see what their parents are doing, which are going out on the land and fishing and hunting or collecting berries. They live in nature. When I first met her, you could just see the twinkle in her eye that she still has. And I've learned probably as much from her and from her parents and from people in her villages as certainly she's learned from me. You can change the world, so do something. Mm -hmm.